Well, you might not believe it, but the state of Michigan really has won a professional football championship. <laughs> it was 1983 when the Michigan Panthers won the USFL title. And now the team is back and they're headed to Ford Field this season. Rod Maloney is live tonight as the team plots its return to Metro Detroit. Oh, look Rod, at look at that. <laughs> Hi there. This USFL is related to the old USFL in name only. I mean, the league actually operates as a minor league system for the NFL. Eight teams, four locations now to be played locally. Detroit becomes one of them because it appears that Detroit liked USFL football a lot last year. Silver-haired Michigan Panther fans cling to this Pontiac memory. Former Michigan Wolverine Anthony Carter catching Bobby Bear's pass, running the last 35 yards for the touchdown, clinching the state's one and only Super Bowl-era professional football championship. 40 years later, the game looks much different. The Silverdome long gone, Ford Field a generation old. And it was here the USFL rolled out the cheerleaders and the team mascot this morning to announce the fledgling league's next chapter, considering most spring pro football leagues never make it to season two. Former NFL great Darryl Moose Johnston oversees the USFL and told us why Detroit joins Birmingham, Alabama, Canton, Ohio, and Memphis, Tennessee as one of the home field choices after playing all of its games in Birmingham last year. Detroit was the one bigger city, large city in the United States that, that had a good rating for us, even though they had those basketball, they have the Pistons, they have the Red Wings, they have the Tigers, um, and that, that's who we're trying to compete against. We hold our own against them, but this, this city was the one city that really kind of stood out for us. Which is perfectly fine with Mayor Mike Duggan, happy to welcome more weekend football foot traffic. You know how this town is about football, and so you got another 10 dates. Uh, you can come downtown and see really uh, exciting, uh, uh -huh. exciting football. It's 10 more days drawing crowds downtown. Inclined to go down to Ford Field and watch both the, the Michigan Panthers and the Philadelphia Stars play, you can still watch them on TV. And guess what? You can do it right here on Local 4. NBC is going to be carrying a lot of the USFL games. It looks to be a great season starting April 30th. Okay, so you're waiting for your refund. Maybe you buy some tickets to the game with your refund. Back to you. Ah, good idea. <laughs> right, I'm wondering, are the rules the same uh, for this league mm -hmm. and the NFL? Well, they're, they are roughly the same, but there are a lot of things that are different, like the overtime is played more like college. Uh, kickoffs are done from the 25-yard line and not the 30, uh, and it's, it's well, not the 35, rather. Um, and, and they have to have eight people in a box to protect the guy catching the ball. Uh, all kinds of different things essentially done to try and make it so the game moves a lot quicker. And the other thing that they do that is different is that they allow cameras behind the defense. Uh, for the up above cameras behind the defense to give you a vastly different view oh. of what you would normally see in a football game. Okay, I got you. Interesting. All right, Rod, we appreciate your report. <laughs>